it was awesome. I was just watching the vlog from Dingle from like a couple months ago, and it was really ironic that I was watching it today because I'm leaving again for Ireland. So you might be thinking to yourself, why Ireland again, Will? I mean, why not Ireland? Let's be honest. This time, instead of doing Southern Ireland, we're doing the Northern part. So I have the rental car, and I'm ready to go. Um, I Smooth, super smooth process, clear customs really quick. My only problem is that my phone, for some reason, isn't connecting to Google Fi's network. So I just made it to my first stop along this magnificent trip, and it's Carlingford. Um, but oh my gosh, you gotta check out these views from their front lawn. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, like that's the view. Shout outs to my Airbnb host for having a Fight Club poster, like artwork, in the room. I don't know if it's necessarily they know it's Fight Club, but still, props. Time for a nap. Just woke up from that nap, and it was originally gonna be like a quick 15 minute, 20 minute power nap turned into like two hours. Whew. So work's done for the day. Grab some dinner and uh, yeah, you know, good settling day. So then I watch some TV, pass out early so I can get on some Irish time. Anyways. Cheers, and uh, to day two. So it's uh, day two, and still in Carlingford. Um, today I leave for Carlingford up to Belfast, which is the capital of Northern Ireland. So yeah, I, I can confirm. No borders or anything like that. I mean, just absolutely fascinating. Um, very cool, obviously. I mean, like, 100% get it. They've worked so hard to reunite, you know, the northern and southern half of the country. Um, but I thought there was gonna be some sort of border because it's technically the UK, you're in a completely different country. But literally, it's like, I was just driving down a neighborhood street and all of a sudden I became that I was in the UK and I was just basically in Northern Ireland. Wow. So I made it to my Airbnb in Belfast and I want to kind of show you kind of the, the type of apartment that I'm in um, just because, um, you know, a lot of times you don't really know what you're gonna get, all these things like that. Um, and yeah, um, so what's interesting about this one, it's really nice, I mean like, you know, it's got some really modern furnishings. Same with like over here in the bedroom. And then check out the kitchen, living room. AV nerd spot speakers in the ceiling. <laughs> Got all excited. And you know, pretty decent view. I mean, honestly, location's more important to me than like a nice apartment because I technically I could get some work done here, but I'm probably gonna go to a coffee shop right now just because I want to get out and not be trapped in an Airbnb. Um, but one of the things is definitely it's like about a hundred euro night, which is pretty expensive in terms of Irish living. Um, for example, the one I was in last night was like 40, 50 euro, I think, uh, but didn't include breakfast or anything. But I was finding when I was traveling rural Ireland, I was getting 40, 50 dollars a night for and including breakfast. So definitely this is on the more pricey end, but um, I wanted a nice little quaint spot to live. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go find a coffee shop, get some work done and uh, Hopefully uh, it doesn't rain too hard on us.
this Starbucks wins for worst internet I've ever had in a Starbucks. I didn't think it was possible to have bad internet in a Starbucks. Well, it's midnight and I just finished my last meeting of the day. So I'm gonna go to sleep. So I just went to fly the drone out here. It's so windy that like it nearly took the drone away. I got scared for a second, but this is just like absolutely gorgeous. These cliffs, ah, amazing. I must admit, this is, uh, it's weird, but neat. Like, creepy and pretty. Oddly satisfying. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna try to fly the drone here. Hopefully I don't get in trouble. There's like no one here though. <laughs> Made to push mills and I haven't eaten all day. So let's get some fish and chips. So without sounding like a broken record on this trip, I think I have found the most awesome Airbnb like location. This pretty Pretty freaking cool. Um, yeah, check this out. It's like I'm a caveman. I made fire. So, everything in Bally Castle closes at 9. So, ran over, got some takeaway, grabbed a burger and fries. Probably shouldn't eat a burger because I'm not supposed to have beef, especially after my diverticulitis incident, which I don't think I've even explained on this vlog. But, I'm gonna grab some food, and now I'm gonna see if the bar I was trying to get into will let me come in with food. And uh, hopefully they'll be nice. And I can eat and have Guinness. Giant's Causeway, which is probably the most famous Northern Ireland uh, tourist attraction. It's kind of like the Cliffs of Moher for Northern Ireland. Also being a truly geeky video person and I'm currently transferring drone footage onto my hard drive while I drive. Efficiency, right?
say, say hello to everybody in the vlog. All right. So introduce yourself and because uh, you've come a far away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, can do. Go over. Go So ahead. my name is Abdurrahman. I'm from Malaysia. Please do come visit if you have the chance. Uh, we're enjoying Cosby now with the most famous guy, Will, <laughs> from Arizona. So he's having a blast. I'm having a blast. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. My man. My man. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this place is uh, gorgeous. It's um, crazy how simple it is. <laughs> 